So we come to the seventh of the eight brocades uh, movement called holding the ball in front of shoulders or lifting the ball um, in different forms, different things. Um, basically, we've got the eight, eight moves at the beginning based on the eight brocades. And then we've got this 18 form Qigong sequence added on. So the seventh added on to the first eight I've already done. So this is like the 15th of the whole 26 form. That doesn't matter. Um, you can do these singly or in a form. As with the traditional Qigong sequences and moves, they're believed to help specific meridians and organs um, with each specific exercise. This one is believed to have the spleen and a pericardium. Again, the heart, the heart line in the pericardium. We're not going to go down that line. Um, the fact that you're breathing anyway, in my opinion, you will be benefiting every single organ, cell, sinew of the body, okay, in a compensatory manner. But again, we're not going to go down the traditional line. I've done that in other videos. We're going to go down the yogic Pilates hypnotic path with it, with the breathing. So it's a bit of a mixture of breaths, but basically don't get too caught up within the specific form and being judgmental. It's just it's just movement at the end of the day. It's just mind candy. If it works, it makes you feel better. Great. So again, you don't have to know that about the organs. I'll just sort of give it a very, very, very brief description. We'll go a lot more deeper there, but we're going to go down the Pilates path. We're going to zip up pelvic floor and we're going to scoop out the abdominals. So as you do that now, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals. And if you like to get the two middle fingers touching underneath the breastbone, the xiphoid process there where it dips, palms and lower lobes of lungs. Okay. That'll help you see and feel where the breaths going into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. So as you do that right now, you're gonna zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine, gonna breathe in through the nose, and exhale through pursed lips, in the sort of traditional Pilates manner. The exhale through pursed lips, if you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips, works like a cough or a sneeze, <laughs> helps you gather in, zip up and scoop out your abdominals. We'll go too deeply into that, but just consciously do that. Zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. And if you've got them fingers there, you'll see these fingers as you breathe in, moving out to the sides. I'm overemphasizing there. It might be a micro movement like this. Breathe in and exhaling, letting go. You'll see these two middle fingers slightly parting and coming back to touch each other. Just adding width to the lungs and length of that out breath, that lovely free expansive breath. As you breathe in organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep, you can let the hands down now. Safe in the knowledge as you zip up pelvic floor and throw on that corset and scoop out your abdominals. That helps you breathe anywhere but the belly button. Unlike the traditional form that breathes into the belly like a balloon, nothing wrong with that, but we're going down the Pilates path at this moment. We're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, breathing in through the nose, and exhaling through pursed lips for as long as you like. Lovely. Now again, that's called lateral thoracic breathing, what you're doing now. Again, that helps you breathe anywhere but the belly button. It helps you breathe into these fish gills, 3D style, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep, into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. So someone's opening an umbro inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go. That lovely, free, expansive breath. Okay, so someone's opening an umbro inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go. Okay, that's gonna help us use the corset, the powerhouse, the girdle of strength, three layers deep, the transverse abdominus. Okay, the corset muscle that is segmentally stabilizing the spine in towards the spine there. 
zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. And keep on breathing into these fish gills, freaky style, into these lower legs, the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Lovely, freaky breath. Okay, that helps us use that pelvic floor and the corset muscle in the most efficient manner. Helping us breathe right now. Anywhere but the belly button. Helping us breathe low and deep into these lower lobes of lungs. As you allow them shoulders to relax at the same time, we're going to travel on and make this a little bit more yogic with the breathing. So we're going to not go out for the mouth in a traditional Pilates manner. We're going to close the mouth. Exactly the same principle. Zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. And we're going to breathe in and out through the nose. That smaller filter through the nose will help us lengthen the breath longer in a sort of yogic manner within the asanas you lengthen the breath okay for that smaller filter for the nose more cleansing breath in a, in a way okay as you zip up pelvic floor scoop out your abdominals and support that spine okay breathing through the nose and exhaling through the nose now feel the length of the breath especially that lovely elongated out breath as the breath breathes you you will feel naturally the out breath will want to fall longer than the in breath. So just allow that to happen. Okay, allow that natural unfolding of that lovely elongated out breath as you still zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. Take the navel towards the spine. Lovely. Tr following the journey all the way in through the nose and out through the nose. Okay. Just naturally allowing that unfolding of that elongated out breath and consciously take your mind to that out breath and consciously lengthen it. So rather than the breath breathe, you, you're breathing the breath, that lovely elongated out breath, which is longer than the in breath. Okay. Quadruple it, double it, triple it within your limits. Okay, without forcing anything, okay, just quadruple it, double it, triple it, find your count. In a hypnotic manner, we lengthen the out breath longer than the in breath. Very similar to 7 breathing or 5 and 9 breathing, you don't have to count. Just naturally feel that out breath go longer than the in breath and breathe the breath. Rather than the breath breathing you, extend the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay, remember the out breaths, the bridge between the mind and the body, it's our gauge to see how deeply relaxed we can become. The in breath's conscious thought as you do that now. The out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending that out breath longer than the in breath, we're just encouraging sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, all on that lovely elongated out breath. Again, all the things you don't think about, sleep, digestion, rest, relaxation, are all being benefited right now. All the things you don't think about, cellular communication, the cells communicating, signaling, the organs communicating in a compensatory manner. Okay, they're all being benefited as you elongate the out-breath longer than the in-breath. Just allow that inside job to happen Okay, that natural housekeeping properties and benefits of the body are being benefited in a massive way by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. Lovely. The in-breath's conscious thought, the out-breath is subconscious thought. So we're just encouraging all these subconscious benefits in the body. Lovely. So with that, we can either leave it there and just focus on the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, as it weaves that tapestry of relaxation in every single organ, cell, sinew of the body at will. Okay. Just be around the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, or you can give that mind something more to hear with a more advanced yogic breath. Okay, if you can't get it done, worry, just carry on going with us. With the breath that's perfectly good the breathing you're doing now zipping up pelvic floor scooping out your abdominals breathing in through the nose and out through the nose okay while elongating out breath longer than in breath 
simply allowing that simplicity to relax the mind at will. Now again, if you want to go to Ujjayi breath, we grip at your esophagus, okay, we narrow the esophagus, and we sort of do like Darth Vader breath in a way, we breathe in through the nose. I'm going to make this sound. We make that whistling, silky, raspy breath on the back of the throat, Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Okay, in Sanskrit, lovely. So again, that gives you something to focus on, even more to focus on as you're breathing through the nose. And exhale. You'll feel the breath lengthen even longer, especially the out breath. And that'll stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat in the body, helps us fan the fire, about all the toxins in the body. Okay, that's an inside job. If you can't get that Ujjayi breath, don't worry. Just carry on with your natural breathing like we just did. Zipping up pelvic floor, still scooping out your abdominals. Either getting that Ujjayi breath sound from the back of the throat or not. Okay, see what suits you. If you can't get it, don't worry. Just carry on breathing out through the nose while elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. You get the Ujjayi breath, seashore breath it's called as well. It's like going with a mouth shut. That sort of natural natural focusing breath, like sort of trying to do a fine motor move, like threading the needle through something, or banging the nail in something, really focusing, you'll naturally do that. Not so much in a overemphasized manner like I just did there. But again, I digress there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna calibrate and synchronize the breath with the motion, integrate the breath with the movement, Okay, you're going to synchronize and calibrate the breath and the motion. Nice simple motion. All it is is just turning here and coming back. Turning here and coming back. Lifting the ball, this one's called. Now again, you can bring the feet in. I've seen it done a few different ways. So I'm going to go for the more relative way. Okay, so again, we'll go back, get the feet in. We're going to simply elongate the out breath for as long as we like, bringing them hypnotic responses. You're wringing out all the tension from the spine as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. From here, you're going to breathe in. Think tall and you can exhale. You're going to breathe in here and you're going to exhale to here for as long as you like. Breathing sharper, exhale. As you can see, I'm slightly pivoting the foot to save the knee. You can either do that or not. Or I find this is a little bit better. Constant, you go to here and you go to here, you go to here, as if you're turning off a skewer through your head, and you go to here. You breathe in a bit sharper, and make the out breath longer than the in breath, so it's a <coughs> Again, just turn in here and turn in there. And again, just elongate the out breath for as long as you like, wringing out all the tension from the spine, keeping the shoulders down, keeps all the hands nice and relaxed. And again, nothing set the motion, just nice meditative out breath, longer than the in breath. And you'll feel a nice feeling in the hands, really nice meditative one that, wringing out the tension from the spine. Crown, lengthening up. Lovely. So the next one is gazing at the moon. Lovely. Well, that was number. That was number seven of the eighteen form Qigong sequence. Added on. Okay. So again, this is fifteen of the whole twenty-six. The two together. Bang. But gazing at the moon next. Bang. 